Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what I have for you guys is a look at Raphael and all the different versions that I do own for Raphael. Now being that the Donatello uh, video did so well, I'm gonna go ahead and make a series out of, um, out of this. So we're gonna be taking a look at Raphael today. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. If you guys wanna see Leo or Mikey first, go ahead and comment down below before I do get um, started working on one of those videos. So now's the time if you guys wanna see one before the other, go ahead and comment down below and let me know and I'll get to work on that one first. But right now we're gonna be taking a look at Raphael and every different version of Raphael. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, we're going to be starting off with the larger scale Raphael. Now, as you all may know, or many may know, this is the larger scale Raphael from the reissue um, vintage wave that was released earlier um, last year. Now these figures honestly was one that I was stoked to see because I know Playmates has been doing such a great job releasing um, the reissues and of the vintage figures but never would I thought that they were gonna be doing the larger scales as well. So I was super stoked to see them release those figures. Not, not that I could say the same for, for these. The Mutant Mayhem figures, they're awesome, man. I love the movie, they're awesome. But I gotta say, when it came to the larger scale figures, they were missing something. Hence is why I customized mine, but honestly, I don't know I just think they're too plain um I don't know they just didn't hit like the vintage ones did now moving along to this line very underrated line well for me because honestly was not interested in any of these X universal monster wave but I gotta say guys by one by one the, the quality and the molding and the detail got better and better with each and every single one of these figures from this wave that i just had to get them all and i gotta say like i said i'm not a huge fan of this line but when it came to the molding the details they did a great job i i think i could say the same for the secret of the use figures but i don't know for some reason i still like the the original ones the ones from part one a little bit more than the secret of the ooze figures i'm not sure if it's because as you see this one this one brings you a more of a fun factor now when you're looking at this one you do get a more of a mature i guess i would say style of the turtles more of a serious um kick ass kind of figure so i guess this is why i kind of do like the more the originals rather than the secret of the ooze figures and i gotta say they're all done great they're all done great and i recommend getting them all not one or the other but i gotta say like the one from part one it's a little bit better like this guy right here this guy is from the um obviously from part one but this is from the iconic scene when he goes to the movie theater he goes to the movie theater and then he ends up fighting his rival or best friend casey jones in the park and i gotta say when i found out the neck was doing um figures based on that scene i was stoked again <laughs> you know i i really get really happy when i see figures that I think I would not see and then they are coming out so that's that's the joy of um, toy collecting and hunting I guess and moving on to um, the piece of tossing turtles which I had no idea these figures existed or were even um, a thing until I saw them in the store being re-released which is another great thing of being reissues you may not know figures exist till you see them so i love those figures and the o3s i don't know if you guys um grew up watching these 
or never heard of these but these guys are freaking awesome and amazing i absolutely love them and i said it before i'll say it again the artistic style of these turtle figures and of just these uh versions of each and every turtle i think it's a pretty superior one it's pretty damn good um it's kind of given that again more mature ninja style kick ass um style of figure as for we don't always get those kind of versions of the turtles like for instance right now looking at the mutant mayhem we see more of a playable fun factor which is also awesome and that is an exclusive to the um the scooter pack raft right there next to the two pack exclusive from the battle damage as you can see nothing really changes just a little bit more details on the paint and obviously he doesn't have the goofy helmet on on the battle damage but honestly i don't know how i feel about that helmet he does kind of look a little bit goofy nonetheless i can't say the same about this figure when Mutant Mayhem released their figures, I gotta say, overall, this Raphael is one of the most superior 4-inch uh, Mutant Mayhem figures that they re um, they released so far. This They did a great job. I just gotta give it to them on this guy. They did a tremendous job, and I wish they did them all in spacesuits. Um, moving on to... One of my least favorites is the Mutant, not Mutant Mayhem, the uh, movie stars. This Raphael, man, the color on this raft, it's bad. I really don't like it. It's kind of a grassy green. Um, I love the figure, but I wish they went with a better green. Because honestly, guys, doesn't look that great. Moving on to the this green this green on this one he looks like he's supposed to glow in the dark but he doesn't so again these two raphaels have the worst green that i have seen from all the reissues they've done and truly not a big fan of the color but of the figure definitely a fan of but the green not hitting right at all and really disappointed on that but making it up is this um what is it? These are the storage shell figures. Now this green, though is similar to the, the reissue one from the vintage one. The difference is this one has a shiny finish which makes it stand out and makes it a little bit darker which hence makes it better. Um, but yeah guys, these are all my Raphaels. I hope you guys enjoy this figure. I mean these reviews of these figures. Let me know what you guys think on the comments down below. And like I said, if you guys want to see Mikey first or Leo first, go ahead and comment down below before I get started making those videos. Regardless of what, both um, videos will be released. So without further ado, guys, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.